this demo but in a different color wave to show you how different they look so you can see there the wire elements with the outline then we get our lovely um sort of like three standing ones so you've got like a tulip-esque a poppy um, and things like that and again these are single ones so again they've only got between four and eight pieces to paper piece back in so they're not really really difficult because we do love to paper piece but if there's a lot of elements in there we don't want to do it because it takes a lot of time <laughs> yeah. um, but again and then you get your lovely skeleton like wire framed leaves and the flowers we can make out this is one of the demos that i did earlier in the show so when the mat and laid onto some patterned paper you know they look really really impactive so really, if, we, really if, we, cool. if we are looking forward to doing um uh, memorial pieces or uh, you know memory pieces with poppies etc coming up next few months uh, it's a perfect collection for that but just your natural florals whether you want it to be really stylized maybe you want it to be a festive thing maybe you want it to be a blooming thing a new arrival thing to get all nine dyes together you see poppies butterflies and floral butterflies buttercups and florals uh, five six five eight six seven four to everybody watching on YouTube, get on the Crate and Craft uh, website, crateandcraft.com. You can be ordering these as well. There's plenty more new elements for it. It's 35%. Let's not forget this stock has sold out. But Tony, you brought us loads of new stuff. So then we've got our elegant frames. So your elegant frames are a great buildable. So the show can be built on these sort of frames or they can be left as a standalone on their own. I'll just get on my tippy toe so you can Thank see you there. So, do you the yellow pages? You can do stand on that if you want. I'm one of the tallest people in here. I don't know how you all manage. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have, look, you can see you can create the most beautiful shaped cards which you join at the top and then you've got all this detail. You get your mat and layers in the centre. That's one of the frames. And then you get the second one which is a little bit slimmer and you get the circle uh, ornate design in the centre there. But I'll just show you how gorgeous they look on some samples so as shaped cards you can see from the lovely fronts here that you know you can have them as fronts mm -hmm. of cards and make them into because it's really lovely to have shaped cards I find Absolutely. you know stepping away from our traditional everyday um, normal square Aren't cards detailed as well yeah they're extraordinary really, really scroll detail yeah really really pretty so here's just a couple of the designs then so landscape and portrait i don't think there are any rules you are not governed by the design it can go both ways so there you've got the skeleton leaves and these are just some of the lovely samples from the design team you, you don't want that one anymore them. tony you don't want using that one. them in the background <laughs> so if you want to use them as a focal point on a card rather than you know making them into a shape card what about a lovely belly band and then this one here can we see there so you can see the lovely skeleton leaves in there too and then the last two just want to show you are actually shaped cards which you can use as um so if you like the traditional so really really pretty this one's got the wire bow on here can we see the yeah, wire bow and now. if you want to paper piece it back in you can but they look really really Bit beautiful black glitter on the middle of that poppy or something and like, like th 30 pounds for them both when they're a massive die they are big dies what you see on the packaging is the size of the product as well yeah we 29 69 so that divides by two on flexi pay if they're going in with this trio which most people did in the first hour so five eight six seven four three is your item to get hold of those two together 14.85 over there for your own flexi pay these apertures um it's something you do so so well i was playing with these the other day um you weren't here but it's all right we're happy <laughs> that. um and showing you how the different elements of whether you want to make it into a background something a bit more subtle it could be to the foreground or almost could act like an embossing folder-esque i think as yeah, well it, that's absolutely right you do you want to come and stand there? No, that's, that's, everything that's all he's I just know, said. I'm not going to repeat everything he's just said, but he's very, very right. Basically, they create the most gorgeous backgrounds if you want pretty backgrounds, but you can bring them to the foreground by just adding a drop shadow or some ink behind or something like that. They give, again, impactive cards, little to no effort. So this one is like a palm sort of tree one. Sorry, there we go. Perfect. And then we have this lovely fern, which would make an incredible Christmas card. So you've got the lovely fern. These are just black and white. And I always do them black and white for tell it. Yep, it's boring, but it just shows you exactly what you get for your really money. I think it's striking. Yeah, you're not going to be yeah. disappointed if we do it this way. But just think you have, to you have to step away from the black and white and think, right, I could do it in watercolours, you know, all my markers and things like that. And then you get your massive outline for the beautiful oh. matte and layer. So I'll hopefully get a demo for one of these in. I'll just show you some samples then yes, so please. very very basic guys um green onto 
That is not a hard card. Even a beginner, it's a die cut and matted onto some gold so, yeah, card So you cut the fern out once on yep. green card, yep. and then you've just done a matte and layer in gold. Yeah, you get the die that creates that matte and layer, so it's oh, going to give you the seamless edge. Ooh. So, so, so simple. And then what about cutting several so it does actually look like something in the background of what's coming up next? And then yeah, alcohol, Yupo paper, tone on tone. Oh, isn't it incredible? Absolutely gorgeous, these. So both of them in there for 29 69 Another purple pass, meaning everybody pays the same price there. It is the club price. 586744. I told you there was a lot of new on this show. Uh, now, uh, finally, the sort of hot air balloon floating on the air, is it called? Yes, floating on air. There we go, floating on air. Uh, is our next one? Yes, it is. So basically, you get the super large stamp and you get the lovely die that goes around. And the die pokes out all of these elements here. So you could make it into a parachute if you wanted to. Paper piece the elements back in and have a hot air balloon. But the great, great thing about this is you get the beautiful um, dies that go around these embellishments here. So you can create 3D cards. And I'll show you some of those. In the set also, you can see from the stamp set here, um, you get the lovely sentiments in there, they're like solid ones as well. We've never done anything like this before, but they're like a solid one where you can create like coloured... Are we seeing those appearing on some of the other samples you were just yeah. showing us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they get like coloured labels and things like that. So this was the demo that I did this morning, albeit it ended up like this because I haven't brought my Eureka. But you can see how incredible it is. Just a bit of colour behind, maybe make it look like there's several balloons behind. Gold on gold splashes of colour in the background. Wow, look at that. You know, you don't have to be the most creative. They're brilliant and great for masculine cards. Yep. Absolutely incredible. Coffees and creams and things like that, you know. Um, heat embossing. Now, this is the number one item being added in as the second item going in. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, with some of the other elements on the show. 70, was it 70% Pete? 75% of your floating on air, thank you, Tony, Star. has sold out and gone. So obviously there's not enough stock of that for everybody to add it in here. So if you want to do that, I'll do it sooner rather than later. 586745 to get that collection. Only 2699. So here's how you check out your baskets on the phone lines, on the app, or on the website, crateandcraft.com. A very good afternoon, everybody watching us via the Stamps by Me YouTube page. We see you're there after all. Uh, you can shop here uh, via Crate and Craft. Craft.com and wash online, by the way. Come find me on Facebook as well. It's mainly babies and dogs, but there's some crafting in the middle. Uh, I'd love to see you there. Uh, Tony, where shall we start then? So what I'm going to do, first of all, Dan, is I'm going to use where you are now. I'm going to use the fabulous, like, linear poppies. Yes. She says. Where are they? Here we are. Linear poppies. I'm telling porky pies, I'm going to use fragile florals. You use whatever you want, Tony. Yeah. I'll just keep, like getting giddy about them because they're really really um fresh designs that you yeah. can literally swap out and swap in really really quickly so i'm going to use fragile florals and you get these three lovely designs on there you can see there you get the lovely outline so it's like a pen sketch where it's all done in one mm. line then you get your qr code on the back don't forget about your qr code that takes you to 520 videos from us doing demos for creating craft so you can go and get the inspiration for any products that you buy here at creating craft and not be lost and think i knew I, I did buy them for a reason but i can't remember why so um first of all i have already cut i'll just show you on um set here look i have just cut several so you can see how pretty oh sorry that's from a demo earlier just move that one no, but never i think just in one color whether it's yeah. black cast up whether it's your um Glitter, car stock, doesn't it look striking? Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the demo that you've got over there in white. I'm going to yep. do it again, but I'm going to do it in black this time. Oh, I've got a, a lovely leaf here as well, look. So I would say maybe, if you've got the time, cut several out. I like to build them on top of each other to make embellishments that are a little bit th thicker. But really, the world is your oyster with them. And just that on a card with a little bow and even a sentiment, uh, sympathy card, it would look really, really Indeed pretty. You don't need much dear for sympathy cards anyway. So in the set, in your die set, they come like this. So you get obviously your lovely outlines that go around. So you get your one mil borders and then you get your detailed parts. Can we see these here? Really, really simple. They're not difficult to cut out or anything, guys. Let's just... Um... Do you think the width of these would go through they go through a medium die cutting machine, wouldn't they? They will. These will go through your 5x7. I don't think the frames will go through 
a snap. I'm not sure. Um, everything else. Basically about everything. Yeah, I think they would. Looking at do your you boards. Think, do you think? Yeah. Okay. I do love my snap, but I had I used my cotton boss at home. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's go ahead and cut this lovely um, design. So I'll just grab my mats. So what are you going for at home? Are you going for your elegant florals? Are you adding in those really elegant frames as well next to Tony, which do work alongside these, or individually to be fair. Um, the apertures are there for you, and of course that big hot air balloon in the air, real exploratory, really like a, maybe it's a new beginnings, a new job moving house, maybe just love the, symbol, um, the symbolism of it. There's loads new today, lots of pearl pass items, but this one being item 101 going in your basket opens a flexi pay basket, so 24.75 to get your linear poppies, your delicate butterclups, and finally, your fragile florals, but very, very pretty. 586, 742. They are dyed, so lying them. I mean, how intricate. This is lovely. It's like the evolution of die cutting, Tony. How thin. They these are the real, the delicate, and the beautiful, and the cut seamlessly first time yeah. every time. So there's one in black, which I could just cut quickly there. Let's show you how different it looks, though, when you swap out into a um, glitter one because I need a glitter one for my demo, so let's do glitter. So, and it will cut through this gossip glitter card absolutely fine. And then we're going to start building up a, a scene. We like a good scene. I know it's not very good black on black on set, and I hope you can see better than um, I'm seeing. We're with you though, it's right. Yeah. So this should cut absolutely fine in the gold. I love the fact you could make um a lovely bunch or a bouquet out of these, or just a single standing blossom. Yeah. It'd be really look. poignant. And then all you do is you just pop these elements out here. This is obviously the gold glitter. You can use whatever you've got in your stash, if it's metallic, whatever it may be. So just pull out, there's about eight pieces, which is brilliant. And that's why I love them so much as well, is because eight pieces to paper piece back in is not hard. I paper piece two or three in this morning to this morning's demo, didn't I? But you know, so just pull all of those. Look, last one. You use a pokey tool. There we go. Sparkly. Sparkly. Just think about your reds for occasions throughout the year, and mm -hmm. you could make it Christmas cards as well if you wanted to, like Absolutely. wild winter roses in white. So let's just move all this aside. So this is going to be my like focal point on my card, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some glue here. It will wipe off. Straight on the counter, Tony. Not it, a care in the world it, over here. No, no, no. No, no, no. It will wipe off. <laughs> it so will. So let's um, grab some of these pieces here. Look, so I have all of the different frames. So I'm just going to take some of the designs and I'm just going to lay them randomly on this cardstock. Well, keep and in I'll... mind what you're doing, Tony. And whilst we're doing that, I want to ask you, um, so I know everyone's watching on Facebook right, uh, sorry, YouTube right now. How, do you do Facebook Lives on your Facebook pages and YouTube? Um, How do, often do we get videos? We do studio nearly every day. Um, so that's like, so if say like this week, today I'm here with these products, then the rest of the week I'll be on in my own studio showing you how to get more of them so, out of them. So when they actually do land on your doorstep, you sort of like, got loads of inspiration really to go at and if we're not using this week's products new products will be using what we've used what i launched six months ago you know we revisit earlier products mm -hmm. and it's an updating qr code over on your page as well over on the back of your packaging yep. too and what that basically means is if i do a video for a product that i launched over a year ago it will um just update so you might scan it on Monday and it'll have three, Brilliant. scan it again in two weeks and it might have seven because I've been playing with it, if that makes sense. So every time I really craft myself personally, the camera always goes on because we might as well capture it. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we do. Very, but how do we find it? Just search Stamps, Stamps by Me? Stamps By Me over on YouTube. There'll be people there now. Um, they're all probably chatting away as they There's always do. There's lots of comments <laughs> I'm hearing going on the YouTube. So Hazel there, Jan's there, Christine. Marilyn, we're talking about you guys, Karen as well, <laughs> Lynn, you're all there. We can see you, well we can't, but we can, we can see all of you. Uh, 586742 yeah. to get these home. These purple prices are allowing people who maybe aren't club members to experience what it's like to save that extra 10, 20, 30 odd percent off there and to get flex space. So everybody gets the club price. Club members, you always get the lowest price. Two flex space here to get all nine designs home. It's 586742. 
Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this aside and then our lovely, um, the three the same, including the gold here, look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one on top of the other and I'm going to create myself an embellishment. So if you look at that card oh, where you are, the white um, one. yeah, you'll see it's been stacked up, stacked and stacked. So I've got like a little bit of a lift on the design. So if you tilt it to its side, Dan, you'll be able to Here see the coloured part has got several layers. Can we see that there? So it's not just a piece, not just a card like one die cut it's two three four so i'm just sticking all of these together look this this bow as well that could be relevant to all of them couldn't it of course so yeah your florals or it, your roses and it's the really important that i when i'm putting these designs together or working with specific designs that you have all of those components if that makes sense because um i want it to match and i don't want you to have to go and find something else if that makes sense yeah. to so you've got it the same same delivery, the same packaging. Yeah, it's all there, yeah. You've got it instantly, you're really good to go. All you need to use is what's in your stash. So I've just basically used the matte and layer which comes within the same set and it creates this lovely black halo around. I guess these can also be used either way round, right? Yeah. So if you want it to like lean slightly to the left or to the right, just flip the mat over away you go. Absolutely. And then the gold one, the last one I'm gonna pop on top. And this is going to just bring it to life. I love how delicate it is, Tony, but in such small number of pieces, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so with these pieces here, all I'm going to do with these little pieces here is I'm just going to fold them over. Can we see that there? So just hide them behind. It's nothing fancy. So we have our lovely design and then let's put this card together. So, so, so easy, black and white form, coloured or not, it doesn't really matter. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to stick this one onto this piece of black. Now you could separate the design a little bit and add some gold mirror or some gold sparkly card. Yes, or true, true. You could, but I just felt like if we were going black, it's going to have to all be black apart from the flower. Don't worry about if you get any glue in, like popping out of your design, because that will happen. But as long as you use the correct glue so it dries clear, you'll be absolutely fine. I've just, and then this one I'm going to pop onto my top folding note card. I like how you're using minimal resource here, aren't you? Yeah, it's all stuff that you will have in your stash, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Pop a bit of glue under that. You've got black that. cardstock, you've got white cardstock. I mean, I've got the white on white in my hands. I know you're doing the black on black right there. It could be blue on blue, yellow on yellow. Absolutely. I love tone on tone, me anyway. So, but it's, people find it a little bit daunting, I find sometimes. But, you know, I think it looks really cool. Maybe Classic you should, as Maybe well. you should bring out a range called Tone on Tony. <laughs> you can do that. You can have that. I'm not sure that sounds quite right. Trademark. In, craft, in the crafting world. <laughs> so, moving on. Never, I'm coming back to it. <laughs> With this lovely embellishment we've created here, I'm just going to stick this flat to. So you probably won't see how lovely this is going to look until I stand it up. So I'm just going to do this on the left. And then I've already gone ahead and cut a wire bow. Yep. In black. We'll pop this on too. I have actually already done this one in my studio, but it's the one that you've got, Dan. And then it just really needs a lovely, um, maybe in a, a jewel, maybe. You have got a little jewel over here. Yeah. So if you wanted it for reference. Yeah, well, you can, I'll show, so I've got so, so beautiful in, um, stamped in white onto this um, piece of cardstock. Hopefully it'll show. I'm just going to pop it to the side here. Hopefully it's going to grab. And then when I hold it up, it's all going to stand in place. So you will be able to compare. Do, do we like the black? You could do it in brown or with a gold. Ignore the glue, it will dry. Or do we like the white, which Dan's just given me here, look. Oh, I can't decide. Ooh. Isn't it striking though? And actually, a little bit of like the job of an embossing folder. But yeah, never thought of that. You're welcome. That's why I've never done embossing folders. 
<laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> well, no, but like seriously, if you ever want that little hint on the background, rather than a lot of white space, and maybe you're worried what to put there, you haven't got to put anything in that white space after all, but it's subtle enough so your eye is still drawn in onto that sentiment, onto the tulip or onto the poppy. That's the focal point, but the same tools, the exact same tools that Tony's developed for you, these dies through your linear poppy, your buttercup and your florals. When you look at the extra samples now, you get the idea of where you're coming from. Maybe you're using them as an embossing folder. Maybe you're using them as a stencil or as a mask, as a spritz, for example. Very, very pretty. And you'll see the different colors from the design team. The grayscale at the bottom, dark on white at the front here. Maybe using more of your cream tones, your cocoa tones, if you like. Some shimmering cast look, some opulent cast look. Of course, previous sentiments stronger than before from Tony. Putting them all, look at that one, by the way. That's extraordinary, isn't it? Uh, exact same technique, I guess, Tony all over and then paper piece just one of the designs back in very very cool right we're now at 40 percent of the stock gone congratulations everybody if you're watching on youtube if you're watching in america open up your flexi baskets your flexi carts divide it all by two interest free five eight six seven four two whilst you've got that open you've got flexi pay in your mitts some other bits I know a lot of you are putting in the same basket. If you are just joining us, 40% of this has gone. Your elegant frames, now 20% of this stock has sold out. Five, eight, six, seven, four, three. You get both designs, all of those swirls, all of those curls, they're all die cuts in there. And you get the mat below, behind it as well. If you want to pull out the insert, the aperture, with that little faux stitch detail going around, you've got that option too. For both of them, for under 30 pounds, it's five, eight, six, seven, four, three. Your aperture frame, one of my favourite items on the show, so, so useful. You've got your ferns here, uh, you've got both together, actually both frames, uh, your sets of two, five, eight, six, seven, four, four. Now 30% of that stock has gone. That could be the background that then has one of your like skeleton flowers over the top of there, or not, whatever you see fit, cutting these out of or paper piecing back in with your glitter card, whatever you fancy. Uh, five, eight, six, seven, four, four, your item number there. Now, I mentioned before, the number one item joining other items into their basket is the floating on air. 80% now that stock has gone. Well, you're seeing all of the sentiments from the previous design that Tony just did. Have fun, smile, create, so, so beautiful, always be kind. All of these reinforcing, positive, friendly messages in there, plus that really elegant, elegant uh, collection in the middle of the actual hot air balloon. 586745, brand new today, 2699 in the club. 80% of the stock has gone. There's a huge gossip range that Tony brings you, whether it's card stocks and also your pens. So if you want to get rid of, uh, get hold of your gossip sparkle ultra fines, uh, olive, lilac, tangerine. Oh, look at the saving. 50% off. Oh no. Here we go. 539 <laughs> in the club for that set. 516655. There's more on the website in those. Well, have a look at this collection here. You've got your Gossip Alcohol Markers, your Scenic Collection with the storage case. $24.99 rather than $34.99. Now here's the point, if you're brand new to Creating Craft, you saw the purple passes, and then I was saying club members, you always get the lowest price. Here, club members only getting $22.49. It's always worth being in the club. 501-795, another, I presume, lowest price on that, Tony. Never seen it that low. If you, have, was, if you were sitting on the fence with our gossip markers or our watercolour markers or our sparkle one, please, if you were sitting on the fence, try them for this price. Yeah, I'm that one, you, an extra £10 offer, Because you will not be example. disappointed. And a lot of people have spent a lot of money getting these products, so it's a great opportunity to... I mean, look at this. <laughs> $17.99 down to eight. 99 for club members. That's the Landscape Gossip Watercolour Collection. 508-422. Don't, as we move on to Christmas Cheer, the Stampin' Coordinating Die Collection, don't let any of these pass you by and then in the groups, people are talking about them on Facebook pages, yeah. etc. at your clubs and the things. The thing is though, don't be coming to me asking me for those prices because I can't do it, <laughs> unfortunately. So, sorry. That's why you're shopping at Creating yeah. Craft. Extended dispatch from the 16th of June. That's all right, that's this year. So you'll be okay. 550247. <laughs> Just letting you know, obviously it's a previous item that's been in stock, but super low prices and 2249. Well done, everybody. I'm saying don't let your basket go because I don't want anybody checking out their cart, checking out their basket and not treating yourself to any of those items we're just showing you there those gossip pens the scenic collection the watercolor elements even that set of three sparkles 
don't be the one who misses out on getting 50% off of lowest ever prices. And you can divide those by two on FlexPay in front of us here on the phone lines app or on the website, cratesandcraft.com. All right, Tony, we've got time for another one. Where should we, where should we go? I'm still in shock. Sorry about that. Why didn't we know about this this morning? Going on. I know. All these sales and bargains, it's incredible. It's all our friends buy, on YouTube. I might buy them back. Pillaging the websites. <laughs> buy them back. <laughs> buy them back. <laughs> right, I'm going to use the lovely fern aperture, which is okay. this one. We haven't used these ones yet. So basically, I'll show... There we go. So you can see the true to size on the packaging too. So let me just show you um, when you take them out. So this is a lovely... Um, the focal point, the decorative element, and this is the part that I was explained to Dan where you get that lovely coordinating uh, matte and layer because the die is there for you to get it straight. So you've not got the worry of any like worry walk cards where they're wonky. Mm -hmm. So let's set that aside and let's cut this one out for you. Show you how gorgeous this is. This is, oh, sorry, excuse me. This is one of my absolute favourites. It's incredible. Greens with snow on. Merry Christmas. You've got your cards for all your neighbours, haven't you? Nailed really, it. Yeah, good really, point. Really, quick cards, you know. But again, great backdrops of cards. So if you what want are the two you're getting in here? You've got the fern and you've got... You get the fern and, like, the tropical leaf. Tropical leaves, that was it. Yeah, palm leaf, that's the one. That's the one. So, but, like, um, tone on tone colours as well. It just looks really, really lovely. Goodness me, we're busy just hearing about how many of you are popping bits and bobs in your allocations. I know there's one more show coming up later on. Yeah. Um, I imagine the hot air balloon isn't going to be there, bearing around 80%. And also some of those extra elements we just showed you, all those lowest ever prices on the gossip uh, elements, if they're sold out, obviously we're not going to bring them back at that price. So well done, everybody. Today, nearly half past three in the afternoon here in the UK, getting hold of yours. So all I've done there is just popped out the elements. Look how cool that is. Pretty simple. So that could be the backdrop and have one of my elegant florals laid over the top. That's my demo. Is it? <laughs> Do you feel like I'm ruining these things? <laughs> oh. I'm just learning alongside you, Tony. You've told me too much hey, over the years. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Thank you. I mean, people at home will think you're being sarcastic, but I know you mean that. Right. <laughs> oh. oh. So all I've done ahead of time look here is I've cut it again in gold. So we've got one in gold and one in black. Nothing, you know, out of sorts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how effective it looks when, yep, it looks beautiful as a gold or a black, but if you put them together and slightly offset them look, you get an incredible shadow behind which gives it that sort of lift, which is brilliant. So let's stick this onto this black here. So I'm just going to pop some glue onto some of the areas Why here. did you choose this size of panel five by seven because i'm a top folding note kind note card kind of girl okay so i like the top folded that when i say note card it's like a tent so it stands up like a tent i like the score line to be on the short side of cards so pretty much i would say 60 percent of all of our designs are designed with that size in mind um however because it's not all about me um, it is, Tony. It's your brand. You can do whatever we, you want to do. We do do other sizes too, too, but predominantly we work towards the large 5x7 and all of our stamps are 5x7 too, so great, incredible value. So you're, 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 like your head's on your florals and your linear poppies and things, you've got top elements that could go on really to like 5x5 five five cards, couldn't they? Absolutely. Um, we've got Victoria on our design team who only works with like 6x6 six six cards and she always works on white. She has no patterned papers, she has no coloured card stock. It's basically white card and she'll create colour with the dies. She doesn't do anything else. Um, and Love they it. are beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So they work across the board with whatever style. Whatever you whatever say, whatever your style is, right? So this one now, when, when you pop some patterned paper behind, you got, if you wanted to put like um, snowy paper in the back there, then you've got a card, Christmas card, haven't you? So let's just stick this onto here. So you've seen literally how simple this is so far. So if you are a beginner crafter, great as a starting point, nothing too extravagant. Just give that a second to grab. So one of the lovely um, wireframe 
poppies we've got or tulips, whatever you want to call them. Look how cool they look when they're stuck flat on top. I'm glad you've taken my advice there, Tony. <laughs> I might not use it now. Ah. So I have this white, to it's white <laughs> red top folded note card. Let's create a card. How did you decide to use red? Why did I? Yeah. Just to be different. I want to step away from your traditional black. We've been using a lot of grey and red at Stamps By Me of late. Mm -hmm. And I've just noticed the tent fold cards. They're really unique in the sense that they come with matching envelopes too. Well, so yeah, I saw one down here. There's a grey card right at the bottom of the display, isn't there? That's got... Has it got a coordinating envelope too? Yeah. yeah. So um, really, really different in that sense. And then out of the lovely um, balloon stamp, we have I've stamped already. Have fun, smile, happy birthday. Can we see that then? I've just snipped around them just to create a little bit of dimension. And all I'm going to do is have fun first. So you could pad these to raise them if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go... Have fun. Have you abandoned your flower? Happy oh, birthday. Tony. Don't feel pressure to be different from me, Tony. We can all be the same. <laughs> and smile. <Tony? laughs> and then just to give it a little bit of bling, I mean. Yeah. I'm not putting it on, Dan. Oh. <laughs> it bullies bullying me. Um, so I'm just popping some glue around the lovely fern just to give it a little bit of sparkle. Now, you don't have to do this, but I just like to add a little bit of sparkle around. With this is what I'd have done. I'd have put these where you put them now. <laughs> Would you? Mind you, you are a crafter. Thank so you. I, I do believe you. I finished my card and my box I was working on, Tony. Have you? Yep. Well done. I um, did the box the exact same size as the card, so it won't fit in. <laughs> <laughs> Stop taking so much pleasure from that. School by error. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. <laughs> do you know what, though? You do it as a beginner. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, I'm going to be so smart. I've got some card left over. I'm going to make a box for my card to go in. Using my Hungry Dory Adorable School Board. Oh, it's six by six. Yeah, I'll put a six by six box. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is so funny. That's made me day, that. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just a very, very simplistic one with, like, mm. colours behind. And then this is one that Marilyn off my design team did, but she did her own background. Oh, yeah. So choose your style. Are you, do, you, what, do you like to use your watercolours and all your stash at home? Your mica powder, throw it at some paper, spray it. That's what Marilyn's done. Or have you got oodles and oodles of paper, patterned paper, craft paper, all that stuff. Get it used. You know, if you're making one, make three. Absolutely. And then away you go. Can we use your stuff to make and sell? Absolutely. As Let long as you're making something, do as you please. There you go. If we haven't got to do that, but why not? Right. Pen and paper time. We're going to get ready for another demonstration and then we're going straight into it to make sure we get it in for you. Thank you everybody joining us uh, in the UK, in America, on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Get on the website, creatingcraft.com, where you can get all of your item numbers. On the screen right now, floating on the air. Is it still in stock, the floating on the air? It's limited stock. There it is for you, where all those sentiments just came that Tony just using, and that beautiful hot air balloon. Limited stock, all dies. Uh, 586745. Tony's got one more show later on. In all seriousness, that's going to sell out beforehand, isn't it? 26.99 in the club. We continue on. Those apertures, so the palm leaf and the fern that was just used in that previous demonstration, both together for under £30 on Purple Pass. One third of the stock there is now gone. As I was talking about before, Purple Pass, everybody gets that club price. 586 744 if you'd like to get yours. These elegant frames, I think secretly my favourite item on the show. I think they're really, really pretty. Very, very elegant. The samples that Tony was showing me uh, and you guys at the same time. 20% of that stock has sold out and gone. Hang on a minute. What does it look like? Sai, put in the picture. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it could be a car blank on its own. There could be a stamped element going in the middle. There could be an aperture, but very, very pretty. And in front of me, that big three together. You can get them all individually if you want buttercups, if you want the po poppies, if you want to go for the florals. 50% of the stock of the multi-buy has sold out and gone. It activates FlexiPay for you as well. So for 24.75 to get 
all three together. One item number, one PMP. So that item number is 586742. Well done, everybody. I know I go fast, but we want to see more of Tony and more demonstrations. You can get all the item numbers again on the website, crateandcraft.com. Right, team, how long have we got left on the show? Four minutes, Tony. Yep, we'll do our best. Let's go. So I have two coloured inks here, and I have the lovely tropical palm aperture here. So it's another huge one. What I'm going to do first of all, I'm just going to use this plastic um, mat to work on because I haven't got a glass mat. So I'm just going to take Would the back Would you like a glass here. mat? No, it's fine. Okay. I've improvised all day, Dan, honestly. <laughs> True. <laughs> no Eureka, no scissors, no, you know, just your basic. For a lady that is super organised. Yeah. Wow. Did you know you were coming here today? Like, no, <laughs> just woke up and just rolled pack, in. Pack to something else. So here we go, look. So we've got a lovely colour on here. It can't be good all the time. Just 99% of the time. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this card onto here, look. And then we'll get some lovely colour onto this cardstock here. Can we see that there? So I'll just move this out of the way. Okay. Let's just blast this off with our gun. So just normal white cardstock, two colours. I'm stepping away from the pinks and the purples. We've done several demos with oranges, pinks, purples. Now I'm going for the lovely aquas and um, greens. You know, you've got some lovely acrylic elements on the show that I've never seen before. Uh, sprays. Your sprays. Your sprays, yeah, your acrylic paints. Uh, also lots of other elements for you as well. So you do have a look on the website, but further down the show page, especially finding those gossip elements, those glitter pens, uh, the watercolour elements that are all best ever prices. Never coming back at that price again. Uh, pop them in the same basket. Maybe a gift to yourself, gift to somebody else. Tony, we can probably treat ourselves today, can't we? Yeah, I mean, um, I know there's going to be quite a few little bits of ours re really reduced. So keep your eyes peeled for those because at those sorts of prices, they're great for stocking. I mean, five pound for a stocking yeah. filler for a friend who's a crafter. You know, how, how cool is that? Absolutely. I'd be buying my friend some of them. <laughs> Here you go, guys. <laughs> Yep, and then obviously um, for somebody who's been looking at the watercolour pens and been thinking, well, oh, it's a bit too much at this moment in time, I'm just going to have to wait, I'm just going to have to wait, then maybe now, you know, you've got yeah, a perfect gift for off somebody. Here, 50% off here, yeah. yeah. It all helps, doesn't it? Absolutely. So let's just get this coloured pattern here, look, and then just pop it on here, pop your die through. So pick the best part of the design, best part of the colour, doesn't matter where you go. So if you've used several colours, you might be able to get two and three cards out of your watercolour background. It depends mm -hmm. what you're cutting through. So Tony, you've got a show later on tonight, last chance. What time is that? Quarter past eight. Yeah, you sure? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move then on to show you how the elegant um, flowers work with the elegant frames. Oh, lovely. Okay. Focused really on these ones this show. Try and pinch a little bit out of each show to focus on because it's good to have focus so and then tonight we'll focus on them ones. Tell you what, we'll do our best to source a glass mat for you in that last show. <laughs> you never know. I'm might, sure. Not it's promising, fine. it might not happen. It's fine. So you just a quick one for you here. If you cut this aperture die out in black and then all of these pieces here look, if you just peel them out one at a time and line them up on your counter, you can paper piece them back into the black. Does that make sense? So yep, if you paper, pull them all out, you'll end up with a beautiful background. So you'll end up you'll end up with two cards without even knowing about it. So I'll just pop this out and show you because we're running out of time. Just pop all of your pieces out. Fab, fab, fab. I'll just pop it onto this white here so you can see because it's running out. Time. There we go. Very Running cool. out of time. <laughs> you are, we've got like 20 seconds left, Tony. It's perfect timing. So uh, those pieces put into black and your black pieces oh. put into here. Two like cards. Two in one, as you were yeah. saying. Positive, negative. Tony, thank you ever so much. You're welcome. Uh, so, quarter past eight. Yep. Don't forget the next show, but do check out your baskets right now. Thank you everyone for watching us. Um, the Godfather of Craft is coming up next. Hallelujah. Cheers, Dan. Thank you very much indeed for the last session. I'm here with you now till quarter to seven this evening. We've got some fabulous shows. We've got a hunky-dory show that you probably didn't get a good look at this morning because there was a few issues, but right now it's your Tattered Lace pick of the day.